Hello, I'm here with Abbas, Chief Security Advisor. And Abbas is, is in Australia, so he's going to be sharing with us about the new kind of uh, skills that CISO need to acquire, Abbas. Tell, me, uh, tell us about you and tell us about more what is kind of the extra skills they are, uh, they are looking for in order to grow in the career side. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Rafael. So, uh, as you said, yeah, my name is Abbas Kudrati. I'm a Chief Cybersecurity Advisor for Microsoft Asia, uh, based in Melbourne, Australia. So, enjoying my lockdown of COVID-19 here. <laughs> so, this skill set of CISO has been in discussion uh, multiple times, and uh, we have uh, uh, any security professionals who are either in a mid-career something which the aim is to become a CISO because that's considered to be one of the uh, prime or the top level in cybersecurity what you can achieve because it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a leadership role, right? Uh, CISO is somebody who has been uh, looked upon as a, as a strategist and, and as, as an advisor apart from being a te technology oriented. So in within Asia, in Australia, India, we are seeing a lot more and more organizations are now hiring CISO who can take charge of the company and take a leading role in a digital transformation and take them to the next level, right? Because you have been operating in an on-premise environment for a long time, but now you have to move towards the digital transformation in terms of taking your, taking your resources to the cloud. So, and, and working with along with the business so they can improve upon them. So they are looking for somebody who can take that kind of a charge and help the business to grow, that's the ultimate objective, but also help the business to secure uh, in terms of uh, all the external and internal threats, what, what they are facing through, right? Yeah. No, it's fantastic. And, and, and in terms of Australia side, share a little bit more what is specific that is, is has maybe increased, not only on the skill, but on the, on the, the, on the spectrum of the cybersecurity there. So as Brazil, is, is, you need to understand as well uh, outside what's happening there, right? Yep. So uh, if, if you go back five to 10 years back, so before joining Microsoft, I used to be a CISO for a number of years. I worked in many countries in Middle East, India and Australia uh, on, on, uh, on a CISO role and coming from a technology background. So I was always te technology focused. And typically, uh, if you look at CISO background, they all mostly come from technology background because that, they either have been a penetration tester or a system administrator or being a programmer and they've been in the company and they grow towards that particular role. So what we have seen that uh, organizations are now looking for somebody who can take charge, not only focus on the technology side, which they used to be, and there's still a set of CISO, they still focus highly on being a guardian or being a technology for protecting the company. But now they want them to take the charge in terms of helping business, working with them as a strategic advisor in helping them on what are the business risk? Of course, the CISO has to understand what are the business risks they have and align the technology and the security control with that particular business. And especially now that the reliance on a uh, uh, third party vendor has increased, organizations are no longer working alone, having everything of, of their own, all controls, all data center within their own premises. No, they are working with third party vendors and in a typical case, we have seen at least 50, 60 vendors who are working with them in a, in a typical organization who is who size of a 10,000 employee, right? No, so a third party risk also really getting important. It's fantastic. And, and I, I took a picture that is a source is, is, is listed there from Deloitte that I quite love mm. it. So it's kind of a, it's a shift of a direction from the being, as you mentioned, the technology guy, the technical guy to more kind of a, a divisor in strategies as well in order to make sure the transformation can happen because we cannot kind of go into only control method that business will kind of have frictions. But yeah, mm. I think it's fantastic a picture there. And, and in terms of your perspective, I was what, what is changing? And if I want to become more a divisor or strategic, what, what are kind of the first steps for me to start in, the, in that path? Yep. So uh, if, you, if you looked at the blog, which I was sharing, I, was, I, was, I have been highlighting a strong, strongly advocating that you have to understand the risk management framework, right? CISOs are technical. They have been focusing on technology a lot, but cybersecurity is all about business risk now. It's no longer a technology risk. You cannot say that only IT, CIO, and a CISO are responsible for it uh, from technology side of it, and they take care of the security of, of, of the organization. No, 
security is everyone's business as we keep on saying right security is everyone's responsibility now if we if you have to live upon that particular statement then we have to understand what are the business risk today if you are if you are a banking banking company then what are my various risk towards my bank could be a compliance side of it because if my data has been breached then i have to i will be have you fined from the card uh, card company as such or or i have a risk of losing the pii information of my customer financial detail so i need to understand those top risk the business has and then align all my uh, cyber security strategies and framework towards how i can be uh, be more supportive to business and helping them in achieving or reducing those risk you know so being and being a strategic advisor or being more focusing on strategy which we as as per the deloitte photo what you are sharing on the screen they have been less less focused but we are seeing more and more increased focus to be more of a strategy in helping to drive that business on a risk strategy and how they can align with the business and from advisory point of view they have to work along with the business unit to be uh, uh, to be a, a trusted advisor in terms of if they if there are certain programs which business is driving how you can help them as an advisor and we have seen in the region a new role has come up called biso business information security officer which is part of a ciso team so ciso is still there or cso is still there but there is a biso who works as an advisor with the particular business unit Well, wow, that's that's incredible. So, is actually uh, as we are saying here. So, you are saying the BISO is this part fundamental to make sure that the security is there, but unlock the business value as well, right? The proposition of uh, making sure the business can move forward. Is that right? Absolutely. Yes, uh, spot on. Yep. Okay, fantastic. No. Uh, 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 Thank you very much. I was, I think that that's very short uh, uh, time of uh, uh, that we have today on our, our channel. I really appreciate your help on on kind of uh, making sure that we can share knowledge around the globe in cyber security. And it's a such privilege for me to to meet you uh, and also discuss in cyber security for you. Uh, cheers, as My as we say in Australia, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure talking to you, Rafael. Thank Looking you. forward for many such sessions in future. Bye, bye. Take care.